we're gonna review two of the most affordable smartphones with a 108MP camera in the country. If you haven't noticed, it's becoming a trend for mobile tech companies to equip mid-range smartphones with high-quality cameras. Maybe because smartphones have already become a medium for work, and many of us are in need of an affordable phone with a camera capable of taking high-quality photos and videos. So now we have the Redmi Note 10 Pro with a starting price of 12,590 pesos and the Realme 8 Pro price at 16,990 pesos. We already have featured these two phones in our website which you can check out in the description below. But now we're going to put them side by side and see the comparison between these two in terms of their 108MP cameras and other specs. This is Julie of KissGuy.com and here's a comparison between the Redmi Note 10 Pro and the Realme 8 Pro build quality and design. The Redmi Note 10 Pro has a 3D curved glass stick back design with a gradient effect when it hits the light. It has the Redmi branding, regulatory info, and a unique design for the camera hump. In front is the 2.5D curved glass screen with a pre-installed screen protector, Corning Gorilla Glass 5, and it also has an IP53 certification. The Realme 8 Pro on the other hand features a polycarbonate unibody back and frame with a glittery matte finish. It has the Realme branding, quad camera hump, and a big print of the Dare to Leap text. In front is the 2.5D curved glass screen with a pre-installed screen protector. Unfortunately, there's no mention of glass protection or water resistance. The Redmi Note 10 Pro has a larger build compared to the Realme 8 Pro. It is also heavier. We like that it has more protection features compared to the other. However, the Realme 8 Pro with its smaller build is easier to hold and navigate even with one hand. The size of these two are subjective so we'll leave that for you to decide. Multimedia Experience The Redmi Note 10 Pro has a 6.67 inch 2.5D curved Super AMOLED screen with 1080p FHD plus resolution, 120Hz refresh rate, 240Hz touch sampling rate, and HDR10. It has a top center punch hole that houses the 16MP selfie camera. It also has dual speakers and dual mic each on both ends. The Realme 8 Pro is a 6.4 inch 2.5D curved Super AMOLED screen with 1080p FHD plus resolution, 60Hz refresh rate, and 180Hz touch sampling rate. On the top left, it houses the punch hole 16MP selfie cam. It also has a single down firing speaker and a single microphone hole. Now these two have Super AMOLED screens with 1080p resolution. What differs is the refresh rate and touch sampling rate. Obviously, the Redmi has the edge here with its 120Hz refresh rate and 240Hz touch sampling rate, which will both help in the overall immersive experience. It also has an HDR10 which allows for brighter images and better contrast. The screen of the Redmi Note 10 Pro is also bigger which further adds points for your immersive viewing experience. Now, let's hear the music samples for the Redmi. And the Realme. Surprisingly, the Realme with its single down firing speaker produces louder sounds than the dual speakers of the Redmi. However, the Redmi sounds better and more crisp than that of the Realme. We have also noted that both devices feature a high-res audio certification. And now let's dive into the cameras. At the back, the Redmi Note 10 Pro features a 108MP f1.9 with PDAP sensor, 8MP with f2.2 118-degree ultra-wide angle, 5MP f2.2 2.4 tele macro cam and 2MP f2.4 depth sensor. For selfies, it sports the 16MP f2.45 camera. For camera modes, we have pro mode, video mode, photo mode, portrait mode, super macro mode, and other modes as shown on the screen. The Realme 8 Pro uses a 108MP f1.88 with PDAP sensor, 8MP f2.25 119-degree ultra-wide angle, 2MP f2.4 macro cam, and another 2MP f2.4 2.4 depth sensor. In front, there's a 16MP f2.45 camera. For camera modes, we have night, video, photo, portrait, 108M, and other modes as shown on the screen.
camera sample. In daylight normal, both devices produce good quality shots with decent exposure. The Redmi Note 10 Pro produces deep blacks and accurate colors, while the Realme 8 Pro appears brighter and more vibrant in colors. In daylight 108M, the same can be said, but the Redmi Note 10 Pro has captured more attention to details. In ultra wide, the Redmi Note 10 Pro is a bit saturated and leaning more into the blue tones, while the Realme 8 Pro is warmer and looks more realistic. In zoom shots, quality deteriorates for both photos, with the Redmi Note 10 Pro having visible grain, while the Realme 8 Pro managed to retain more details at the expense of visible softness. For daylight portrait, both devices have decent edge detection even when wearing a face mask. The Redmi Note 10 Pro gives more attention to detail, but the Realme 8 Pro produces a brighter image and has a stronger bokeh effect. Even indoors, both devices perform well. In this macro shot, we think that the Redmi Note 10 Pro has a sharper quality. It has softness around the edges, but it has more accurate colors than the Realme 8 Pro. For low light shots, both devices gave us a close fight. However, the Realme has a better overall exposure. And the same can be said when using the night mode. As you can see here, the Realme shot has a better exposure while the Redmi shot is darker. For selfies, the Redmi Note 10 Pro also had deeper blacks while the Realme 8 Pro looks a bit washed out in colors. Using the selfie portrait mode, the same can be said with the Realme having a brighter exposure and the Redmi having deep contrast. However, the Realme had also blurred my sunglasses which I wish could have been included. Using the selfie beauty mode, the Realme Realme has a stronger preset which made my skin in this picture look whiter and my eyes bigger. The Redmi has a closer to natural look with a bit of softness but not overly beautified. Now, for videos, both devices can record up to 4K resolution at 30fps, 1080p at 60fps, and 1080p at 30fps. All of which we notice that the Realme has done more smoothly and more stabilized than that of the Redmi. Selfie videos can also record up to 1080p at 30fps. We have also noticed that the Realme shot is overexposed and softer, but it is also wider than the Redmi, which we appreciate as it allows for more room to include others. Performance The Redmi Note 10 Pro is powered by the Snapdragon 732G with Adreno 618 GPU, 8GB LPDDR4X RAM, and 128GB UFS 2.2 expandable storage. The Realme 8 Pro runs on Snapdragon 720G also with Adreno 618 GPU and 8GB LPDDR4X RAM, and 128GB UFS 2.1 expandable storage. Both devices aim to provide their users a great performance in multimedia media, work, and gaming. In fact, we have tested these two in games like COD Mobile, Wild Rift, and Genshin Impact. The Redmi Note 10 Pro did not have any issues in running COD and Wild Rift in ultra settings. In Genshin Impact, when we tested it before the game's major update, it can run on the game's default high graphics settings. But now, with the recent 2.0 patch, we experienced visible frame drops with the high graphics settings, especially in the new region. The Realme 8 Pro, on the other hand, also did not encounter problems in COD Mobile and Wild Rift in ultra settings. In Genshin Impact, it had some visible lag even in the default low settings but was still overall playable. Between the two devices, we think that the Redmi Note 10 Pro has won this round simply because it has higher specs with its Snapdragon 732G compared to the Realme Snapdragon 720G which actually is the same chipset they've been using since the Realme 6 Pro. For battery life, the Redmi Note 10 Pro has a 5020mAh battery with 33W fast charging via USB-C cable. It lasted 8 hours with 25% left when using the phone for taking photos, videos, and a bit of gaming. Charging takes up to 60 minutes to fully juice up the battery from 0 to 100%. The Realme has a smaller 4500 mAh battery but a faster 50 watts VOCC Super Dark Charge also via USB-C cable. It lasted about 6.5 hours in our daily use of its cameras and casual gaming. Charging its battery takes up to only 45 minutes to reach from 0 to 100%. 
verdict. To recap, the Redmi Note 10 Pro is priced at 12,590 pesos for the 6 gig with 128 gig variant and 13,590 pesos for the 8 gig RAM with 128 gig storage variant. The Realme 8 Pro, which has only one variant and that's 8 gig RAM with 128 gig storage, is priced at 16,990 pesos. Now, with what we showed you earlier, we think that the Redmi Note 10 Pro came on top of almost everything. It uses more premium and durable materials. It also has a 120Hz refresh rate and HDR10 support. And it is equipped with a better performing CPU and it also has the faster UFS 2.2 which also helps in the speed of the device performance. And now for cameras, both devices are great. And that is expected as they both have a 108 MP sensor. The Redmi Note 10 Pro stands out with its attention to details and accuracy in colors. However, the Realme 8 Pro has a better exposure and vibrance in colors. It also has a better stabilization in videos. Overall, the Redmi Note 10 Pro and the Realme 8 Pro are both solid daily drivers. We just think that the Redmi Note 10 Pro offers a better price to performance ratio. And that's it for our video. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you have questions or thoughts, comment down below. We'll see you on our next video. Stay safe.